everyone. We will now proceed to our discussion in Article 305 or False Keys. So, the term False Keys shall deem to include the tools mentioned in the next preceding article. Number two, genuine keys stolen from the owner. Number three, any keys other than those intended by the owner for use and the lock forcibly opened by the offender. If you notice, Article 305 does not mention of any penalty. And we all know that any article that does not bear a penalty is not punitive in character and therefore results no imprisonment for the offender. However, in the paragraph 1 of Article 305, it says there, the tools mentioned in the next preceding article. So this refers to Article 304. And 304, 304 mentions possession of pick locks or similar tools. And any person who shall, without lawful cause, have in his possession pick locks or similar tools, especially adapted to the commission of the crime of robbery, shall be punished by arrest of mayor in its maximum period to pression correctional in its minimum period. With this, we can surmise that only paragraph 1 of Article 305 bears a punishment of arrest of mayor to pression correctional. The preceding article also, Article 304, mentions pick locks or similar tools as are what are referred to as false keys, false keys. And that paragraph 2 mentions genuine keys stolen from the owner. This is also a false key. And number 3, any key other than those intended by the owner for use in the lock for simply open by the offender. That is also false key. So the question now is whether a person found in possession of a genuine key is sto stolen from the owner can be held liable, criminally liable. Well, since this article provides no penalty, therefore the possession of the false keys mentioned in paragraph 2 and 3 of Article 305 is not punishable. We have here uh, an example of a problem. So, the owner, before leaving for another province with his family, entrusted the key of the main door of a house to another neighbor, B. And then one day, while the owner of the house was away, the person entrusted with the key used the key to enter the house and stole the jewelry inside the house. Is he liable under Article 305, false use of false keys? No, because the genuine key was not stolen from the owner. Remember, Article 305, Paragraph 2 mentions general keys stolen by from the owner. This time, the key was not stolen, but rather was left to a neighbor. So, what will be the possible violation of the person who entered the house use, using the keys left by the owner? Well, he can be liable for theft if there is no abuse of confidence in the relationship or qualified theft if there is an abuse in the relationship. Well, uh, we will discuss the case of People versus Lamon Lopez under GRL18766. Here, the... Accused have in their possession custody and control seven false keys, one of which is a pick lock or master key. Now, the issue here is whether the crime of illegal possession of false keys is the proper charge. Supreme Court held, yes, false keys include the tools mentioned in the next preceding article. So, the seven false keys are included in Article 304. And it is mentioned there, pick locks or similar tools. So this is especially adapted to the commission of the crime of robbery. It follows, therefore, that the term false keys appearing in the information is correct as it sufficiently describes such tools. We'll now listen to the report of Dan Andrew Acolio in false keys.